two month old male infant has been referred to your pediatric clinic and mainly for the failure to thrive as well as repeated infections. Over the last month, the child was admitted to the hospital twice for the treatment of bacterial and viral pneumonias, as well as for positive fungal growth from past stool samples. While hospitalized, the child was found to have a significantly deficient lymphocyte count and the child's older brother and older sister are in good health. But the patient's mother notes that her father, sister died before the age of one as a result of repeated illness. And you suspect that the child has an immune deficiency and will not be able to survive past his first birthday without uh, extraordinary treatment. And you inform the concerned parents that a child may need a bone marrow transplantation and rice the possibility of the experimental gene therapy. What is the case about? Adenosine deaminase deficiency. Because if you see here, adenosine deaminase deficiency is an autosomal recessive disorder, mainly results in the defect of the enzyme adenosine deaminase. And where exactly this enzyme is like uh, involved in the biochemical pathway, so this ADA is mainly involved in converting adenosine to inosine during purine degradation. This is the step. Adenosine deaminase is the enzyme responsible for the conversion of adenosine to inosine during purine degradation. Now, when ADA is deficient, adenosine is the one which accumulates. So this accumulated adenosine eventually results in excess of DATP. So this one which serves to inhibit ribonucleotide reductase, whatever the product which is accumulated called as adenosine, that can cause excess in DATP and serves to inhibit ribonucleotide reductase. So this ribonucleotide reductase is the enzyme, or we can say a key enzyme in the synthesis of DNA. So because of this, because of the accumulation of the adenosine, because of the excess DATP, because of the inhibition of the ribonucleotide reductase, finally DNA synthesis cannot happen. So that leads to a defective DNA synthesis results in deficient lymphoid differentiation and uh, results in the dysfunctional T cells and B cells. That's what you need to know for your exam. Dysfunctional T cells and B cells. So here, this adenosine deaminase deficiency approximately results for 50% of the autosomal recessive cases of the enzyme deficiency, what you can see over here. And mainly this uh, skid is the one associated with the severe as well as repeated fungal, bacterial, viral, and protozoal infections before the first year of life. And symptomatology typically presents approximately from 45 days to like two months after birth. The symptoms are very severe at that time. And the disorder commonly present with pneumocystitis cornea pneumonia and failure to thrive. So this is very, very important because pneumocystitis cornea pneumonia is more commonly seen in AIDS patients, but it is also more commonly in the immunodeficient individuals because of uh, the patient exhibit with the dysfunctional T as well as B cells. The disorder commonly presents with the pneumocystitis cornea pneumonia and failure to thrive. So, what is the treatment and prognosis in this case? Bone marrow transplantation is the only treatment of choice because as a source of stem cells, we can say, not only that administration of the exogenous ADA prognosis 
that is ADA, which is conjugated to polyethylene glycol, which will improve the immunologic function as well as the clinical status of the individual. Not only that, there is another new treatment uh, option which is available called as ADA gene therapy, which is also used but uh, has a very limited success. But uh, remember that it is in experiment nowadays. And the affected infants rarely survive beyond the first year without treatment. So mainly for examination point of view, they'll ask you the skid what we are discussing right now can also be inherited by the autosomal recessive, RAG1 or RAG2 mutations. They'll ask you the mutations for your exam, RAG1, RAG1 or RAG2 mutations. So by the mutations in the DNA dependent tyrosine kinase gene. So this is how there is a autosomal recessive form of SCID or it may be an X-linked recessive disorder that results in defective interleukin-2 receptors on the T-cells. So there are like approximately two forms. One is the SCID which is inherited by the autosomal recessive, that is RAG1 or RAG2 mutations. By mutations in the DNA-dependent uh, tyrosine kinase gene or an X-linked recessive disorder that results in the defective interleukin-2 receptors on the T-cells. So this is what is about uh, adenosine deaminase deficiency.